In Power Defender, we don't want our player in the middle of the screen, we want to move them to the left hand side of the screen. This gives you more time as the player to be able to defend your pa from the nga ngara. To do that, we first need to go to the sprites tab and we're looking for set my sprite position to x, y. Left click drag and put that underneath our set manaya sprite inside of our onstar event. You might get an error and this is because my sprite as a variable does not exist. To correct this, select the white arrow and head to Manaya. Select that. Our game will now update and it will work perfectly. To change Manaya's position, you'll notice that they have moved to the top left of the screen. To fix this, we can click on the X and Y position here and we can move the slider and it will update the position. I'm going to move my Manaya to 23 by 54. Give your game some time to load and you'll notice now that Manaya is starting in the left side of the screen about the middle of the two po that we've added. Now we're going to add movement control. For this game, we only want our player to move up and down along the y-axis. We do not want them to move left and right along the x. To do this, we first go to controller, the controller tab, and we are going to take the move my sprite with buttons. Left click and drag that into our green on start event at the bottom. And once again, change my sprite to match our player name, Manaya. Select the white plus at the end of this code. To make sure our character can only move up and down on the Y, we need to set the X to zero. To make sure that Manaya can move fast enough up and down to be able to throw a pere or a spear at the ngangara, then we need to change this to 200 pixels per second. If we look at our game, our character can now move up and down. However, if we move past the screen boundary, so will our player. To fix that, we need to go to the Sprites tab. We are looking for the Set My Sprite Stay in Screen. Left click and drag and insert it to the bottom of the OnStar event. Once again, change My Sprite to Manaya and ensure that stay screen is set to on. If we check our controller, we'll notice that Manaya is now stuck on the screen. Finally, to finish setting up our game, we need to give Manaya life. We will use this variable later on to determine whether the game should end or not. To set the life in make code, head to info, Set life to three. Left click and drag and put that underneath all your code inside of the on start event. Three is a good number. Let's leave that one there. You'll notice, and it is reflected in our game controller here, three lives being added to the top left of our screen.